Hey guys, this is Kenjido, and welcome to another MakeShot Pro video. So for this one, I really just wanted to play around with the background eraser and show you uh, how powerful it is, uh, both with very clean cut lines, but also with uh, things that are much more fluid and, and less clean, like hair. Um, and essentially what I'm going to show is how we can change the background of uh, this portrait photo here. And uh, this I got from Prexel, which is a free uh, stock photo website. So we're going to take this yellow background and essentially replace it with this one that I made in Autodesk sketchbook, just painting a bunch of different colors and adding some vignette on the side. So let's get to it. So the background erase brush tool, if you call it, can be found over here. And really the, the value of it is that it, it detects adjacent pixels and from that will erase, but erase, not erase things that are dissimilar in color, for example. Um, I have this in contiguous mode. So what that means is it will only look for adjacent pixels to be erased. It won't try to find every pixel um, available to it of similar color. And so if you had a uh, yellow, for example, in the middle of, as you can see, encased in these hairs, because I have contiguous selected, it's not going to erase them. Now, if I turn it off and say discontiguous and come across, now you can see that it starts to get through. I accidentally went over some hair, so it actually erased parts that I didn't want it to. But you can see it's pretty good, especially in the edges near the, the shoulder and the body. It, it definitely can find all that it's looking for and do some erasing. Now, even, even as good as it's doing, there's still some haloing, is what I would call it, around the hair. And, and that, that kind of will be the dead giveaway when you finally start incorporating the blue background just because it stands out so much. But the trick is to be able to, you know, get some of that out while still preserving some fidelity is reducing the sharpness. So now if we come up in here about this high and then start, oops, start erasing, I might have made that a little too hard. You can see now it starts to get rid of that halo, but it starts feathering a little bit some of the edge of the image. But that's okay, because really what we want is just to get rid of the yellow and, and all of that that's being removed will be filled in by the new background anyway. So we'll come through the hair sections here and try to get rid of some of this extra yellow that's lingering around. And if it feels like it's doing, if, it, if the effect is a little bit too strong, then you may have to adjust the sharpness a little bit more just so that it's not erasing more than you'd want it to. And especially with the hair, it's not going to be perfect. Um, there's going to still be some yellow lingering around. Um, and we'll actually address that later. We'll, we'll show how we can, we can fix that in the end. So maybe a little bit more at the top. Okay. So overall, I think s removing the background, this was really good. And, and keep in mind that this could be argued that this is a very easy background to work with because it's a nice continuous color. There isn't like trees and other things in the background. And what I would suggest is that if you're planning, if you know ahead of time you're going to want to do something where you're going to want to erase the background, bring a green screen or position your subject in a way that uh, there is as clean a background and maybe as blurry a background as possible so that you can do this with ease. Custom selections can be done with a whole lot of pain and a whole lot of time and a whole lot of brushes. Um, but in this case, if you know ahead of time, make life a little bit easier for yourself. So we've now erased the background. Let's take a look now if we add this custom background to this image. Let me shrink it to fit a little bit better. Bring it down so that the vignetting is covers the top and move it underneath. So looking at that, I think the background eraser did a pretty good job. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. I think that the, the big lingering issues that stand out for me are the yellow halos that we still see. And 
there's a lot of ways that this can be addressed. Uh, one, the simplest that I can think of right off the bat would be to create a new roster layer, sample a color from the scene itself. So if I hold the mouse over one of my colors in my, like the front color of my palette, and you can see it, it shows the pick tool when I do that. If I hold down control, I can now drag anywhere in the screen, even parts of the IDE or the development environment, not even the image, but anywhere, and sample a color. So what I'll sample is a color very near to where the hair and all those things are, and I'll use that as my color now. When I click with that pick tool, it'll now pick that color. So for example, if I pick this gray, it changes it to that gray. If I even pick the white next to it, it'll pick that white. But I'm gonna work with a blue that's very similar. And now I can take my paintbrush and have some pretty, you know, light settings, nothing really strong. Hardness is low, opacity is low, size is pretty big. And um, just start painting kind of over these areas that are yellow just to give them more of a blue color. And you can say, well, it looks like it's just decreasing contrast and it's not really actually changing the color. But if I change my blend layer to color, then now you can see what it's doing is really just erasing that yellow. Although I may have done it a little too much here. There we go. And if you kind of go overboard like I did a little bit here because I wasn't paying very much attention, you can always bring back your eraser make some corrections to that. This can also be done with masks. You don't have to use paintbrushes and erasers. Um, this is just what I'm using at the moment. So, so then we're getting some of that color back in her face, but her hair is still looking less yellow than it used to be. And this, this brush technique can just be essentially used all around the edges if you feel like it's, it was a little bit too much. There's a little bit too much yellow and you just want to kind of blend it a little bit more back into the image. Same can be done for her shoulders. There we go. So now if we do the comparison between with the yellow on or the yellow off, you can kind of decide maybe you do like the yellow, maybe you like the glow on her shoulders but not in the hair, or maybe you like it perfectly fine with all of that in. It's just a matter of preference. But essentially, that's it. That's that's really all that's involved is with the the small adjustments to the sharpness using the background eraser. You can get very nice clean edges, both in hair and in uh, edges like the shoulders and the neck. And what may linger is sort of the color casting from the previous background, but you can simply just use the color blend layer with a color more related to what the new background is to be able to blend the character in. So keep in mind, these techniques worked for this image. I think it's perfectly fair to say that um, this set of techniques won't work for every image. Like, for example, if the model were blonde-haired, doing the blue overlay may not work, or any other different variations that could occur in the scene. You really have to just kind of understand what the tools do to know what to use when. That's what makes um, working in PaintShop Pro or doing any type of this photo manipulation more of an art than just a science is because there really isn't a formula that works for every single image. It's really just a matter of understanding what you can do and knowing when to use the tools at the appropriate time. And ultimately just getting something that you like. As long as what you end up with you appreciate, then you've succeeded. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'm always interested in also hearing suggestions on what topic, what topics you guys would like to see covered. Uh, but other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great week.